Hey guys, Alex here again, and this video is about Artister. So there's a couple of reasons why you might want to purchase Artister to um, get all your teams done. So first off, you might be able to find a lot of free um, teams out there, but you have to keep in mind that while I do sometimes use free teams, um, there's a lot of problems that can come with, uh, let's say, pirated teams, because a lot of the time they will take off the official like uh, footer links, and they might put links to Viagra or some really shady links that will kind of prevent your website from ranking in Google and you won't even know about it. Like sometimes it's obvious that those links are there in the footer, but other times they use code to make it kind of invisible on the page and it's really hard to detect. So for that reason, I always make my own teams with Artister, um, especially for new websites. Eventually, uh, like if you guys went on the linkback.com, um, me and Baker have like a custom team there um, and Baker like heavily modified in code like you basically can't find this exact team somewhere else right now because it's it's been heavily modified but the reason why that happened is because uh, the link bag has a lot of traffic so it's after a long period of time we figured hey let's make it a really nice looking team that will be even better for uh, the internet marketing niche but I always start with Artister and uh, another reason why you want to have a lot of uh, different teams is that it's kind of a sign for Google. If you're, all your websites, let's say you have 20 websites, they all have the exact same team, then it's kind of a sign that you're probably not caring too much about those websites. You don't even bother to have like a different team or make it appealing for the niche it, it's in. It's not the only thing that might get you banned, but on a list of things that might end you, end up getting you banned from either the search results or from the AdSense program. Uh, having a similar team that looks kind of like unfocused for the website's audience is one of them. So to start off with, this is um, the default team that when I started a uh, artist I got and I clicked on the WordPress team and it's pretty good right off the bat. Uh, a few couple things are um, to notice are I like kind of like the standard website looks. So a white background, my text in black, and my links in blue. Um, there's a few things you can change here. So like the layout, you could kind of inverse it. You could put the menu on top or the headline under. I like better the menu right under. So I'll keep it at that. For the header here, you could go here, add a change of background image. You can also add your own image from, from uh, by using from file. In photo, you could put a picture or you could put your picture. So you could move this girl's picture here. Okay, what else is there? Oh yeah, and also the menu. I like to have my menu on the right and also only like to have one, but this is, I have a few websites that I have two, so it's your preference. Um, so columns, you would go back to layout, then columns. So you could put it on the left, on the right, or you could put it on both sides. It's like you want. So I'm going to go back to this one, which is more of my standard look. Something else that's important is the sheet uh, width. So it's 800 default. I like to at least have 900 could also play with uh, how the columns look here, how big they are, make it exactly how you want it to be. Another important thing is content. So in content, um, here you can customize how your headings look. So this is basically like your titles. They're fine as a default, but um, for text, this is where you would want to change it to black if it's not already. And hyperlink is where you could change it to basically have the exact same color that you would use for um, your AdSense code if you're going to monetize with AdSense. If you're not going to monetize with AdSense, then you can kind of change this. So I would just change the link one. So I would go to color, more options, and then in the hex, I would change it to this one. So zero, 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 four zeros, eight, zero. So you can see the new one, which is a more dark blue one, which is more of the standard link color. And it's the one I want to use for my AdSense links too. This is something you want to test, or if you want to try another color for your website, feel free to. 
just something to keep in mind whatever you choose as your hyperlink color here you want it to match the hyperlink color for your AdSense ads if you are once again using AdSense you can so you can put an image here or you can probably remove it if you want or actually if you don't even have an image it won't even show it's just an example of how it would look in a in an article you can change the headlines if you want to put an icon next to your posts at the top so looking uh, at this, um, I mean it's pretty complete. Um, that's why I like Artister really. I would just change maybe a few colors between websites, but this would be like the default kind of website idea. I would probably just change between websites or change maybe the header, maybe a bit this background color, and that would be it. Sometimes I like to try something a bit more radically different. So maybe my links are green, um, dark green and my AdSense ads would also have dark green links so this is really customizable to your niche and what you personally prefer to uh, work on because I mean this website you're probably gonna look at it a lot so you wanna make sure it's appealing to yourself so it's also appealing to your visitors